going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and today I'm going to show you how to make vignettes in Photoshop CS6. Okay, so I just got this quick little image of some people jumping in the sunset. So I'm going to use, I'm going to apply a vignette in this image to focus on the people in the image to just give a nice focal point. Um, so there's two ways you can do this. First, I'm going to unlock this background by double clicking on it. Um, the first way, which it, it can look better, but it doesn't always, is you can apply a radial gradient. You can have um, the gradient will be uh, transparent and black. Make sure it's selected on radial. Click somewhere and hold shift to make sure this line is straight. And do something like this. Okay, so now you can see that there's this little outline of our people. Okay, so next what you're gonna wanna do is lower the opacity down so that you can see, uh, you can still see the picture, but you can see that it's a bit faded around the edges, which gives it a nice little look. You can see when I'm turning it on and off. Um, what you can also do to, since these are kind of, they're not very harsh edges, but to make these edges less harsh you can apply a Gaussian blur if you go to blur Gaussian blur and see it softens up the edges a bit that's one way that you can make a vignette we'll just wait for that to load and okay now I'll just go ahead and show you the other way which I prefer because it creates a softer more subtle look so just click on your layer go to filter and then lens correction see that your picture loads and then you can go over here to the custom tab and you'll see something that says vignette drag it to the darken side because if you will if you go to the light inside the edges will lighten uh, if you go to the darken side then you can see that this nice faded vignette comes and to make it um, more significant you can drag this midpoint in even further so now you can see that we have a nice little vignette around our people so it's black and then it's the normal picture in the middle. Now to emphasize the um, the lens correction that I added for the vignette, we can go to the curves of this picture, image adjustments, and then curves. And we can mess with the curves in this, to make a nice little picture, like this. There, now using vignette and curves, I've created a nice little isolated picture with my people in the middle and darkness on the outside to emphasize them. Now I'm going to show you another little way to use it. I'll just go over here, and you can see that I, I downloaded this um, concrete texture, and I made a little effect with this text that makes it look like it's engraved into the concrete. I have a few effects over here. I just used a gradient overlay and an inner shadow. You can go check out my text tutorial I made earlier if you want to see how to do stuff like this. So I'm going to add a vignette to this to create a more emphasized look around the vignette text that I added. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer down here and with this we will grab our gradient tool and this time I'm going to grab not um, not transparent and then black but I'm going to grab a white and then black. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to adjust my settings a little bit. I had this fading all the way over here, and I just had to drag it to the middle. That was what my problem was. All right, so we have white fading to black. So just like before, we'll grab the radial tool, grab somewhere in the middle, hold shift, and drag it upwards to here. Okay, so now you see that it's blocking out the entire picture, so we're going to lower the opacity, and we're going to put it behind the vignette, but on top or behind the vignette text but um, on top of our background so now it looks like the there's like a spotlight shining on it and this can be a really cool effect because it lets you isolate objects easily and it just looks really nice so if you want to you can duplicate this and adjust the opacity again to create a different effect or you can go in here and if you need a wider range for the vignette to reach wider like this, you can do that and move it back to the middle. And that pretty much sums up the tutorials on vignette, guys. So.